What's going on guys, BBQ Dropout here. So if you want the written version, head on over to bbqdropout.com. Okay, so for this question, if you're wondering like what to do after brisket's done, first thing you should do before you do anything and take it out the smoker, do anything. Cut off your smoker, like turn it, all the vents down. Before you do anything, you wanna do two things. One, you wanna verify that it's done. You do that by checking the internal temperature and you want it to be around uh, 200 degrees Fahrenheit in internal temperature. You want to insert that bad boy into the thickest part of the meat. It's probably like somewhere like kind of in the middle between like the fat or the uh, point and the flat. Just do that first. Check for the internal temperature 200 degrees. The second thing, make sure you can slide either slide that thermometer in and out like you can start poking around it. I think I have a video uh, kind of showing you like um, how to know when brisket's done and I use like a toothpick. You can use your thermometer or toothpick. Don't use a fork. I know some people say like use forks, but just grab like a toothpick or whatever and start like kind of gently inserting it. And you want that toothpick to be able to go in at any part of the brisket like a stick of butter. And then that's really the, uh, the telltale sign that you'll hear myself and like other people online or like in person at barbecue places that when a brisket's done. And that's just, that basically just is a good indication that the collagen has completely rendered, rendered down. And basically all that like super tough, like interconnected tissue is basically like come apart and is like super juicy. But once you do that, so you do those two things, uh, probe it for the right internal temperature, then probe tender. If it's not probing tender, then it's not done, even though it's tipping out. Your thermometer may be off calibrated or whatever, but probing it till it's tender is probably the most important thing. And so what you actually do when you find that it's done is you do not want to slice into it because the brisket's literally 200 degrees hot inside and if you just immediately start slicing into it then it, all that moisture, all that, all those juices and stuff that's really good for your brisket is going to start evaporating and then you're going to come out with a pretty dry piece of meat to be honest. And so what you want to do is either like rest it on the counter in the oven or put it in like a cooler or whatever. Just plop it in there for like an, for like three to four hours. Make sure to kind of plan ahead, but uh, put it in there and gotta let it rest. That's like probably the most important thing. And I didn't really believe in resting briskets. I'd probably would either like miscalculate the time and like be too rushed and just kind of want to get the process over with. So I just slice right into it. Big mistake. Because again, if you do that, it's just gonna dry out even though you did the first two things right. And so, what I, I think I, it was just by accident, like I just left the brisket in the oven one day after I, after I cooked it for like, it was some like stupid amount of time, like 12 hours or something. Juiciest brisket I've ever had. I'm not even kidding you. And so ever since then, that stuck in my mind and like kind of opened my eyes to the fact that you really need to start resting your brisket. It doesn't really have to be 12 hours, but um, I'll give you an example. Like if you go to a barbecue place, and you, you ask for like the juiciest cut of brisket they have or, or whatever, they're not gonna go right to the smoker and like start cutting into it and just give it to you right then. More than likely they already have multiple briskets um, to serve to you and other people throughout the day that they've already cooked. But it's been sitting there in the oven or a warming oven of some kind and it's just been resting basically. And throughout that entire time, throughout the entire day, all those juices are starting to like seep back into the meat and basically make the, the brisket that much more tender. And so you just wanna be able to like kind of wait until the internal temperature, just kind of like master it and time it until it gets to like 165 degrees Fahrenheit and then you start cutting into it. So that's kind of like a long roundabout way of saying, just make sure your brisket uh, rests for an adequate amount of time. And then what you wanna do is start probing around with the thermometer and don't slice into it until it hits at least 175 to 165. And that's basically what you do uh, after you determine a brisket is done.